Hey, my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with a new morning coffee video for you, boo, that is all about becoming the woman of your dreams, all right? I hope you are ready and excited to get into this video, but before we do, boo, make sure you are a part of the notification squad so you get notified every time I upload. And also, boo, you check me out over on the gram because I share so much great things there, and also my blog, hisdaughtersclosset.com. All right, ladies, I don't know about you, but it is time that we start embracing and becoming the woman of our dreams instead of just looking for the man of our dreams, you know? I've said this a lot, but be truly because when I started my single journey, it was all about finding the man of my dreams and not becoming the woman of my dreams. And what I say by this is I'm saying there were seasons where I wasn't worried about my credit score. I wasn't worried about my money. I was so focused on living when I got him, right? And I want to tell you that is not the way to do things, boo. Live now and become the best version of yourself. That better version that God keeps showing you, you want to become her. And so I want to give you some tips on how to do that. But the very first thing, boo, is you got to get this I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry mentality. I don't know if you've heard that song by Demi Lovato, but it's like, sorry, I'm not sorry. Literally, you got to get that. Like, sorry that this might look weird to you, but I, I like me. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You know, sorry that you think I'm dressed up today, but I feel beautiful and I feel like a daughter of God. So sorry, not sorry type of deal. Sorry you think that I'm a little more um, outspoken and things like that, or I'm always so happy and you get irritated by my personality. Sorry, not sorry, but this is how God made me. And, I, and I'm a happy person, bubbly, whatever. I want to tell you, you got to get to this place where you're sorry, not sorry. A place where you're not willing to dim down your light anymore to help somebody else be brighter, okay? I feel like I've done that for years where I try to dim down all my light so others wouldn't see me. I wouldn't stand out. I wouldn't do this. Like, I was always so scared to hurt others or stand out too much and things like that. But you gotta get to this sorry, not sorry mentality, okay? That is first gonna be a big key to getting you to becoming that woman of your dreams. The next thing is, boo, you gotta see her though. You gotta have a woman in your mind that is your better version. If she's healthier, if she's doing a certain gifting, if she's not working a nine to five but operating in her business, business and her craft and her purpose. You've got to see that woman. So sometimes I will say many times women don't even see that better version of themselves yet or don't grab a hold to it. What is she doing? What is she looking like? How, what does her day look like? Literally, this is something God had me do years ago. He made me sit down and write my better version's life from the, more, the moment she woke up to the end of her day, like the time she got up, what she did, where she went to work at, what she was doing. I mean, guys, it went in detail. And I guess this what helped, this helped me. Today, I'm not fully there, but a lot of those things that I was writing about back then has come. It's here. And so I wanna encourage you to start writing about that dream version and that dream life that you have. We all have dreams. We all have this idea of a dream life and there's nothing wrong with dreaming. And it tells us in the words that a man's heart plans his ways, but God directs our steps. So we make out the plan, we say, God, this is the dream we plan it out but guess what we allow God to come in and direct us to get us to where he wants us to go even if it's that dream or even if it's beyond that dream we have to trust that and so that is another tip is where you got to have a dream for your life and that's a big thing is sit down take some time and write out journal about your dream life what are you doing what are you wearing what does your hair look like what does your body look like what are you wearing like where are you going do you go to work every day do you own your own business do you work from home do you have your headquarters where is your where are you going and what does that dream look like so it's great you have this major dream and we're like, okay, I got this dream, Morgan, what do I do now? This is where you make goals. See, you have this massive dream of your life. Like for example, years ago, God told me, you're gonna be an international empowerment speaker and this is, a, I had this massive dream. And I'm sitting here as a broke college student at the time. So I had to start making goals. So the goal was to start learning more about how to do this thing. I started researching into ministry. I started learning more, I started praying more. I started making myself goals. And so for example, now those goals aren't quite the same as they were back then. But now, for example, my better version, she looks healthier. She's speaking, she's doing international speaking. She's traveling, she's healthy. And so guess what? I made a go for 2021, I wanna lose 30 pounds. That's a go. That doesn't mean it has to happen in one month. It don't mean it has to happen in three months. But I wanna gradually lose this thing because I wanna keep it off. So with that being said, that's a go for me. Since that goal was leading me to that better version, what I do now is every day, even if I don't hit the mark, every day I try to remind myself of that goal. I try to pursue that goal. So if I'm about to do something I don't need to be doing, like having a real late night snack for no reason, just because I'm emotionally eating at the time, you know, I'm like, Morgan, what about your 
go. See, that's what I'm saying. You have this massive dream, but you want to make smaller goes to lead you to that dream. So for example, in this massive dream I have, I have a HDC headquarters. I have a headquarters, I have employees and all this stuff. However, I'm not there yet. It's just a one woman show right now. Okay. Me and Jesus. And so I'm not there yet. And so I have a go to get a thousand members inside of my membership this year. That's a go that's going to help me get there, right? So that's what I want to encourage with you. I want you to really see this as a chance to get more goals, right? You want to be making little goals. So example, whatever it is you want to do in your life, you want to make some smaller goals that's going to help you work towards that thing every single day. Another thing is woman, becoming the woman of your dreams is you've got to have some stuff that you're not willing to bend on. You've got to have some things in your life that you're not willing to compromise, okay? you got to have some morals about you. And I do believe as women of God, we should all have morals. However, it can get really weird sometimes because our some things might be a little different for other people. So I want to tell you though, you need to have some deal breakers. You need to have some things you're not willing to compromise on because they attach to your character, your morals, and your livelihood. So for example, there are some things when it comes to relationships, when it comes to outings and things like that, that I don't compromise on. Why? Because it doesn't align to my morals. Like I'm not going to go to a strip club. I don't care how fun and exciting. And if I get invited to my birthday party, I just ain't going there. That's just that, that don't align. And I want to tell you that that's pretty major but think about it personally to your life so if there's something you have to get to a place where like for example I'm not gonna fold I'm not gonna quit on my vision that's a moral I have I know God has given me this I'm not gonna quit on it I'm not gonna fold on it. I'm not gonna run back to my vomit I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna run back to old things so as a woman of God that's what you want to do a woman who's going after her better version you got to know that there are some things you can't go back to there's some morals and some things you cannot compromise because it is below you now so for example uh, back in the day I would get in relationships with men who were just not great men I'm not gonna lie I also would sell myself really short I would quickly get to liking them and having sex with them right that was just something I would do because also I didn't know who I was I didn't have those morals at the time now as a woman of God and as a woman going after my better version the better version I see she isn't sleeping with men she isn't sleeping around she isn't doing those things and so and she knows who she is and so she carries herself in a different way so see that's my better version and so I operate in that better version although I'm not her all the time I operate in that and that's what your goal is whatever that better version is doing operate in that even if you don't know how I used to always see my better version wearing blazers and just like really dressed up and that's why you see a lot of my clothes in my closet are blazers or blazer dresses and things like that because I try to mimic that better version I seen years ago and I still see all the time and so you want to become the woman of your dreams you don't want to get caught up on trying to be just get the man of your dreams okay and then as you become the woman of your dreams ladies we got to make sure we're focusing on ourselves. We're focusing on our bank accounts, our credit scores, what we can bring to the table, not just he, what he can bring to the table. And I've always learned that as I become more of the woman of my dreams, I began to like myself more. I began to love more things about myself, but also that means that I was not allowed to just, I was no longer in the place to just allow anyone to come in and take me, okay? Used to it would be like, oh, he said I was cute. I'm his girlfriend now. Now it's like he's, he said I was cute, but okay, does he have value? Does he know what I'm bringing to the table? And is he bringing some great value to the table? Has he healed? Has he overcame? Has he went through some own, his own personal transformation in God? You know, there are questions I have to ask now personally because of a woman that I am now. And so I want to encourage you that when you're going after your better version, you don't want to just only bring your body to the table. You don't want to bring yourself to the table. You want to bring so much more. And something I've noticed is that now that I'm working actively towards becoming that woman of my dreams, I notice that when it comes to dating, I have a different decision making process. I don't look at him as, can he provide for me? Can he pay my bills? I need him to save me. I don't look at him like that. I look at him, is he good? Is his heart moral? Does he have good character? Is he a good man? Is, is, is this somebody that God foresees in my life for years to come? You know, this is something like that. I don't look at it as in, can he take care of me? I need him to pay my bills, you know? I don't look at it like that, which allows me to date better. So I've noticed becoming a woman of my dreams, biggest thing is I began to actually like myself. And I think that it sounds so minute and so weird to somebody who may have liked themselves all their life. But I've always had weight issues. I've always had insecurities. You guys know I've talked about my teeth on here before. I've talked about so many insecurities, depression, anxiety. And so there was for a lot of years, I just did not like me. I was literally at war with myself. And so I want to encourage you that when you be start becoming the woman of your dreams, there's going to be a day you just look in the mirror and you're like, I like you. Like, I really like you. Like, it just hit me one day like, 
girl, I really like you. Like, I like who you're becoming. I like your mindset. I like your hustle. I like you, girl. I like them curves, even though you don't like all them curves and all those little things. I like those curves. I like you. And I want you to get to a place where you begin to like you because you are starting to become that better version of yourself, that one that you see in your mind all the time. You just have not stepped into her. I want to encourage you with that today. Become the woman of your dreams. Don't wait on the man of your dreams. Become her today. And also, get the sorry I'm not sorry mentality. Sorry I'm not sorry, but I'm going to go hard for me because I don't know who else will. Sorry I'm not sorry. I'm going to clap for me because I don't know who else will. Sorry I'm not sorry, but I'm going to put standards up for me to protect me because, hey, I'm God's daughter. You know, I, I deserve some worthy things. I'm more precious than rubies and gold. So, hey, come on. I want to tell you right now, you got to get to a place where you are sorry, not sorry. Sorry I had to cut you off, but you was not very consistent. Sorry I had to remove you because you know what? You were hurting me emotionally. Sorry, but you know what? I couldn't just continue to let you do me like that. So sorry, but I'm not sorry because I'm choosing my better version. I am choosing the woman of my dreams. And so I want to encourage you with that today. Be sorry, not sorry. Choose the woman of your dreams and become the woman of your dreams. And she is possible to reach because God has showed her to you. So my hope and prayer is that this video blessed you and encouraged you. And last but not least, if you want more personalized content from me, be sure to check me out at my blog, hisdaughterscloset.com, because there's so many freebies and so many goodies over there. And I love you guys, and I pray you got your morning coffee. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, comment down below your biggest takeaway, boo. I love you, and I'll see you later.